Welcome back, everyone, to The Xamarin Show. I'm your host, James Montemano. I'm crazy excited to have Oleg here in person, finally. Welcome, Oleg. Hello, James. How are you doing? I'm, I'm great. It's I'm... a bright, sunshiny day <laughs> here in Seattle. You know That's it. right. That's right. I really like being here in Seattle. And you know, I'm super excited to be here on The Xamarin Show again and talk about iOS provisioning in Visual Studio for Mac. Like, you know, I'm a big fan of provisioning, and I really love to work in Visual Studio for Mac. And today I have a bunch of amazing stuff I want to talk about. Yeah, so last time we had you on, you were in Boston. We were talking about some of the, the kind of old process of like what a provisioning profile is. What is you know registering my machine mean? What is an app ID? How do these things work? Yes. And I'll link to that episode because I, I've, been, I've been told that it was the best explanation that anyone has ever given. Donovan Brown actually said that. He said, Oleg, explain the provisioning <laughs> profiles in a way that anyone can understand. Yeah, I'm touched. I'm very <laughs> pleased to hear it, James. Yeah. So, and that old method was, well, there was two old methods. There was a completely manual process, correct? Yes. Which, well, it was kind of semi-automatic. Okay. So you had to press buttons to make things work. And today, I'm going to talk about a completely different workflow we introduced in Visual Studio for Mac. But before I will switch to the actual demo, I just want to talk a little bit about iOS provisioning system again, just uh, to make it clear why it's so important to have provisioning and why, why do we use it. So Yeah, it's everyone's favorite feature of iOS development. Yeah, sure. exactly. So basically, iOS provisioning in a nutshell is a sign-in system, proprietary Apple's mechanism to control development and distribution of iOS apps. And you know, it, it's a pretty complex system. And if you will break it down into pieces, you'll, you'll know that it consists of a lot of elements, like there are certificates, provisioning profiles, app IDs, iCloud containers, and so on and so forth. And you know, it's not necessarily clear how all these elements are related to each other. And of course, if you read the documentation carefully, if you follow all instructions, I promise you will end up in the right place, doing the right <laughs> thing, and you'll deploy the application to your device or publish it to the App Store without having any problems at all. Yeah. The problem I always run into is that, that I'll get everything set up. I'll read through all the Xamarin documentation, which is pretty fantastic. But then I'll either, you know, a year passes, and oh, everything yeah. expires. Oh yeah. Or I get a new machine every few years, and I got to go figure out everything. Or I'm going on just someone else's machine, <laughs> working on my source code, or setting up continuous integration. Yes. It's a nightmare. Yeah. yeah. So here's the thing. Uh, like me myself, I'm a lazy person. I like to read documentation, and every time I have problems with provisioning, I have to go through this way of trials and failures. Yeah. And sometimes it takes like a couple of days, and I constantly read all these horrible stories on Stack Overflow and Xamarin forums about how people spend like just a lot of time trying to fix this little IS provisioning problem they have. And I, I, I gotta say that typically in each team there is so-called IS signing guru, like <laughs> a signing wizard, I call them. <laughs> so this is the person who knows how to do provisioning right. And they spend like a big chunk of their work time just helping their colleagues. Yeah. And I, I've been there myself back in Xamarin days. Uh, like a lot of people from all over the team were reaching out to me and saying like, hey, Oleg, I have this new wonderful device. And apparently, I can't deploy my application. Oh, yeah, that was the worst. You go and buy every year. Every year or two, you're getting a new device or you need to test on a specific device because oh, I want to test it on iPhone or now an iPad or I'm just like deploying on something else and I'll do the whole thing again. Yeah, you know? that's right. Oh, like, hey, uh, I want to use SiriKit in my app. Like, I, I enabled this checkbox in Entitlements Please Editor and apparently everything is broken now. <laughs> so what should I do? And, you know, I, of course, was always happy to help, but in the back of my mind, I had this notion that you know provisioning, even if it's so complex, it shouldn't be that difficult for developers. That yeah. this complexity yeah. shouldn't be exposed to developers. And in previous session, we covered uh, a bunch of really cool controls. We had an IS bundle signing panel and project mm -hmm. options. And after a while of using th this feature, I realized that I pressed the, like these buttons and elements in the same order every time. And I caught myself thinking about, hey, what if this thing would be automated? Yeah. So before it was, go click a 
10 or 20 different buttons, then you made it click four buttons, and yeah. that wasn't good enough for you. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I was like, I, I don't want to click buttons at all. <laughs> like, I want the whole provisioning thing to be done for me automatically by the IDE. I want it to be, in, to be invisible. I like, like that, yeah. <laughs> Sounds like an ideal scenario. And then you, then you don't have to worry about it. You can go read the documentation if you want to know what happens, but it just happens. That's yeah. the goal, right? Yeah, so without any further ado, I think we should jump into the demo, and yeah, I'll show it. you how it works. So cool. what I have here is completely blank Apple account. So Everyone's this, favorite developer portal. Yeah, Certificates, identifiers, and profiles. And this is where many of you <laughs> may have spent hours. Yeah. Yes, so I have zero certificates. I have zero app identifiers. No provisioning profiles. My keychain has some certificates, but none of them uh, from Apple Developer Portal. And even more, I don't have any provisioning profiles installed whatsoever. Boom. So my provisioning profiles folder is empty. And let's say I'm completely new as Armin developer, and I want to create my first application and deploy it on my wonderful device. You're so excited. You're like, I just installed yeah, Visual I just Studio install. for Mac. I'm ready. Yeah, that's true, that's true, that's right. So what I do is I go to Visual Studio for Mac, press New Project, Single View iOS Application. All right, I'll call it My Awesome Demo Yo. <laughs> so, and I'll press Next. And once my project is created, what I can do now, I can go to info.plist, and okay. here, I have a sign-in section. Now, maybe what 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 is the how would you describe the info plist? Because it's super important for someone brand new. Yeah, well, info.plist is a very important file for iOS application. Basically, it has uh, all the most essential information, such as application name, bundle identifier version, and also for visibility, we embedded the sign-in control right in the info.plist editor. It. Got so it. even though settings. Uh, made by this control is not reflected in the info.plist file. Uh, just for visibility purpose, Quite we place there. it here. Very yeah. Cool. So here I have a team drop down with a list of accounts I'm added to. And this is my empty account. It's Oleg Demchenko. So if I'll select team, automatically manage sign in checkbox is getting enabled. This is a new feature yes. that's inside of Visual Studio for Mac. And you're running version. 7.3, so it's now in preview, guys. Yep. So you can download it in the preview channel. Cool. So once I'll press this magic checkbox and agree to use automatic provisioning, Visual Studio will spin some wheels for me, and in a matter of like five seconds, what happened? I have a certificate in my keychain, mm. and I have a provisioning profile downloaded to my machine, and let's check what's going on in the Apple Developer Portal. So instead of the empty list, I have a certificate here now, and provisioning profiles. Boom. Here we go. My awesome demo, yo, development, <laughs> provisioning profile. So all right. So it seems like I'm kind of good. So what can I do next? Uh, Basically, what I want to do is to deploy my new application to my iPhone. Got it. And before, I'd have to go to Apple Developer Portal, register my device, yep. find uh, UDID of my device, and do all this nonsense. This is because the, the device has to be registered inside of the profile. Yes, that's right. Which is associated right. with the certificate. That's, yes. that's right. Yep. That's right. But you don't have to know this anymore, OK? So everything you need to know is how to plug in device uh, to your machine, right? So once I connected the cord to my phone, Visual Studio runs automatic provisioning again, and guess what? I can run my application on device. Ah, so, so there's your phone. If I also like that as a deployment target and press play button, once the application is built, I'll see it here and I'll show it to you. Okay, so. Uh, this is kind of a very important thing. Like uh, you need to agree with all the terms of condition. That's yeah. yeah. Uh, all right, magic moment. Debugger is almost ready to connect. 
There we go. Boom. So in the application output, you can see all these logs. Let's, let's show this beautiful screen. Let's hold it up yeah. right here. So that's Look the blank that. application. We're running it on the iOS device, and it's Info automatically debug, provisioned. Yeah, yeah nice. that's, that's absolutely incredible. Very cool. Yeah, so let's go a little bit further. Uh, let's say I'm a big fan of tvOS. OK. I love Apple TV, watch TV shows all the time using this device. And this particular device is kindly provided to us by QA team of Xamarin. Thank so you, this, QA team. Yeah, thank yeah. you, Manish. And uh, OK. Let's add tvOS project to this solution right now. Yeah, because ideally, if you're creating a watchOS, a tvOS application, any iMessage application, you have to do all this again. Yeah. That's what you're saying, right? Yeah. Yeah, so, OK. How we, how we call awesome it? Awesome TV app. Awesome TV app. Yo. <laughs> and let's press Next button. OK, what we have here is yet another project. It's called Awesome TV app. Yo, and let's set up this project as a startup project. Got Go it. to info list. Also, select the team we want to use for provisioning. Yep. Agree to use automatic sign-in. Boom. Visual Studio spent like five seconds provisioning this device. And let's take a look at the Apple developer portal. So instead of just single provisioning profile, we have two profiles cool. in the list. Cool. And one of them is tvOS development provisioning profile. Nice. Because those are actually two different certificates based on the type of device. So if you did then watchOS, I guess you'd maybe have another one or, or maybe even a Mac or whatever, right? There's yeah. all different certs for all the different things. Yeah, that's crazy. right. That's right. So, OK. Uh, what we have now here is a tvOS device. Plug and again, in. just the same way as we did with iOS device, all we need to do is to plug this guy in. It's already doing it. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. It's getting automatically provisioned. And uh, dun, dun, dun. I think we need to wake this device up. So OK. So there we have it. Uh, da, da, da. Let's maybe downgrade there we go. the version. OK. So now we have this tvOS device in the uh, drop down menu here. And let's press Play button. And fingers crossed. Last. It'll deploy, and we don't have it hooked up, so we can't see it. But we'll just assume that it worked when it deployed. <laughs> Better know. <laughs> well, we actually will see something in the application output. Oh, so nice. So that's that's nice. the thing. Deploying, installing. So we're installing. deploying, installing. Oh, okay, I believe in you, automatic provisioning <laughs> system. Come on, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. So we're waiting for the bugger to connect, and uh, there we go. We nice. have like a thread started and application launched. So this build log, even if tvOS device is not connected to any of these TVs, Please. we actually can see that application is running in the application Very output cool. pad. OK. So just to, to make sure that it's not just smoke and mirrors, do you have any iOS device <laughs> with you, James? Well, well, luckily, I happen to have an iOS device in my back pocket. That's because where I actually keep all my iOS devices right in my back pocket. So let me go ahead and unlock this for you. Um, with my finger, and then there you go. OK. So again. This is how you do normal development. You just hand over to your best friend yeah, any basically. iOS device, and yeah. then you're good. James is my good friend, and I just want to show him the amazing application I just created. So I plug the in device. It's getting automatically provisioned. I select this device in the drop-down list here as a deployment target. Press Play button. and. There we go. Visual Studio is spinning wheels, building the application, and <laughs> and ideally and deploying, deploying to device, installing application. This is a very important moment for me. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> very cool. Yes. Yeah. And and before, what would happen is if you didn't go and get that UUID identifier, go and register it, it would just say no. It was yeah. just like no, you can't even yeah. do it. Not allowed. Yeah. So. so uh, let me show a couple of uh, other cool features we added uh, in the new release of Visual Studio for Mac. So in our team, we have a UX designer. And you know she really loves Siri. Mm -hmm. And I want to impress her because you know I, I want to embed some of the cool Siri features in my app. Sure. And in order to do that, I need to enable this Siri capability here. Now, what is this file? Entitlements plist. We had info plist and entitlements plist. Oh, Just yeah. in case if people are brand new, right? I'm like, I want to add Siri. What do I got to do? Yeah, so in entitlements plist, you can allow your application to access certain mm. 
operating system resources Got and it. frameworks. So I see push notifications, wallet, yes. Siri, Apple Pay. Exactly. So this is kind of like beyond the box, like kind of reaching outside of your application. Yeah, yeah. So Apple should mm -hmm. issue a provisioning profile with this entitlement enabled. Got it. Just to make sure that your application can access Siri. Got it. So before, what you had to do is you would go to provision uh, to to this Apple Developer Portal, go to App Identifier, select your App Identifier, and enable Siri in this list. Yeah. Okay. So now you can do it right from the Visual Studio, and all I will do, I'll just press the checkbox, and there we go. Uh, Apple Siri, oh no, Siri should be enabled now, and let's just make sure uh, that it was really enabled on Apple Developer Portal. Oh, so cool. here we have it, Siri Kit enabled for both development and distribution. That's amazing. Now that app ID, did it have to do a new provisioning profile with this new app ID, or is it okay basically off of that? What just happened? Yeah, I well, guess? we had to regenerate provisioning profile okay, got because it. app ID was updated. Got it. So okay. first we update app ID, then we regenerate new provisioning profile, then we download this provisioning profile to user machine. So this is how it works. Now what happens? I see I see com .companies. So This one just has the default. But what if you want to change not just that? What if I want to change the app ID? Like like you know, for me, I sometimes forget to actually enter my company's name, uh -huh. you know, in there, and then I'd have to go through this all again. Correct? Okay. Yeah. Well, you don't have to do it anymore. I have good news for you, James. <laughs> so here in the info.p list, back to info.p list uh, of the IS application, <laughs> you can change bundle identifier and just press enter button mm. and it will be automatically updated for you. So awesome, dem awesome demo, James. Enter, automatic sign in, the spinning wheels again. Done. And what we'll have here is new app ID created for your application. Well, cool. Awesome with all of my entitlements. Yes, with SiriKit enabled. Very nice. That's great. Very nice. Yeah, so a very important thing. Like we draw a very clear line between automatic provisioning and manual. Okay. I, I and before settings. there was yes. the semi automatic, right? Yeah, so it's yeah, yeah. So one or the other, basically. Yeah, basically now you have to use one of them, like all, either manual or fully automatic. You're in or you're out. Yes. Yep. So if you use automatic sign in, uh, IS bundle signing in project settings will be disabled. Okay. So to enable them again, if you're a sign-in wizard, you can Uncheck turn it. off automatic signing, go to bund uh, IS bundle signing again, and uh, here we go. Like we have two drop downs, just like we had them for years and years and years before all these cool fast okay. features. Yeah. And uh, yeah, basically. It's very easy now to provision applications. Yeah, and I'm super, super excited cool. about it. Yeah, <laughs> that's amazing. You see, so being able to not only just do file new, but take any existing application. It doesn't have to be a new application. This could be an application from five years ago, right? Yes. Enable absolutely. automatic signing. Get everything done for me. That's right. Change info p list. Change entitlements. <laughs> TVOS. Anything that you need, basically. Is yeah. What you're saying. Just now go and provision everything you'll see. Like all devices that gets in your way, just provision it. Run your application <laughs> on it and just be awesome and use Xamarin for mobile apps development. There you go. It's, it's, how, it's how signing should be, let's be honest. Cool. Anything else you want to show off or anything? Yeah, like that? I think I'm done. That's it. <laughs> awesome. Well, Oleg, like, thank you so much for coming in person all the way out here to beautiful <laughs> Seattle to uh, show off our brand new awesome automatic signing. I love it. I can't wait to get my hands on it. I love it. Well, until next time, I'm James Montemagno. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I think it's over there. Maybe it's over there. Who knows where it's at? You'll get the latest updates right in your inbox. And until next time, this has been The Xamarin Show. I'm James, and thanks for watching. Bye.